Oh, Keaton, hard-fought game uh, to pull it out in the end. Uh, how do you feel about the way this went tonight? Uh, it was definitely a tough game. I mean, probably played our worst game of the year, but we did find a way to pull the victory out. And I think in the first half, we definitely struggled. Their, their zone got to us. So we, we tried to get the ball inside, but we couldn't. So that's we turned the ball over way too much in the first half, and then mm -hmm. we figured it out in the second half. Yeah, it seems that both teams just weren't, weren't in rhythm at all in that first half. Uh, they were missing a lot of shots. You guys are missing a lot of shots, a lot of turnovers, as you mentioned. How do you feel the guys ba bounced back then in, in, that, in that second half? Yeah, I think in the first half we got in love with the three a little too much, and then in the mm -hmm. second half we started attacking the rim, getting the ball in the middle. And then once we got it inside, we were able to kick out, hit shots, or drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could... Yeah, because uh, when Jordan hit those three threes in that third quarter, that sort of basically yeah. uh, put you up there. Uh, Clay had a Clay had a triple. Then you you had six points, uh, two for three from the field, and a couple free throws. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that third quarter started like right at the ship for you guys? Yeah, I think for me personally, that was definitely my worst shooting game this year. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I have eleven. I, I got you down for yeah. I didn't have a three this game, so I definitely didn't shoot mm -hmm. it well. But I thought I thought the team stepped up pretty well. I mean, mm -hmm. we played our worst game by far this year. But you were eight for eight from the line yourself. Yeah. Uh, the team was uh, thirteen out of sixteen from, or sorry, thirteen. I'm sorry, thirteen out of fourteen from the free throw line. That and and basically uh, hitting your late free throws sort of sealed things up for you, as as it is usually in in the game of basketball. Yeah, as a team, we definitely we take pride in our free throws. During practice, at the end, every day we take free throws. We shoot 10 free throws and rotate. So we definitely take pride in making our free throws because those can win and lose you games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems that uh, Weimark uh, was, was starting to find himself. He had 18 in there, six, but 6 of 14 from the floor. And it uh, uh, looks like uh, Sheketh also, also had a pretty good night. Uh, he had, he had uh, 9, or sorry, 11. 11 points so so uh, have, having to can, uh, keep those guys under under wraps so how, how was that for them for you guys uh, we mark's a good friend of mine I, he's always been a really good player i played with him this summer and mm -hmm. his mid-range shot is one of the best i've seen in high school so it's tough to guard him so then you fall for the mid-range shot then he goes to the rim so you can't stop a player you can only slow him down mm -hmm. now uh, you guys will be uh uh to play, getting back in, back, getting back into things on Tuesday. Uh, uh, so, what, what do you? Of course, you're going to be uh, disrupted tomorrow with with the snowstorm, possibly. So, uh, but what do you want? Uh, what do you think the, you're going to be working on before you get, get hit the road again? So tomorrow we have practice at 9:30, trying to get it in before the snow comes, and mm -hmm. then we have Saturday and Sunday off, and then Monday I'm guessing we'll prep for West Delaware on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We always play a bad game against West Delaware every year. They're always a tough team to play for us. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can change that this year. Do you think maybe you can get that bad game out of out of this this one against New Hampton and and then play good in Manchester? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks.